good morning and welcome to the next class of theory of computation in the previous class we have discussed on design of a mille and mure machine what is a mille and a mure machine we have seen an example on design of mille as well as mure machine for obtaining one's complement of a given binary number uh, today we are going to look at another example on design of mure and mille machine first example today we will consider on design of a mille machine for adding two binary numbers so let us consider an example of adding a binary number 18 with binary number 29 so whenever we add two binary numbers uh, we can have the following combination of bits from the first binary number and the second binary number the first binary number can have uh, 0 as well as the second binary number also have 0 the second binary number uh, the second combination can be the first binary number have 1 and second binary number also have 1 third combination can be that the first binary number is having a 1 and second binary number is having a 0 and the last possibility is that the first binary number can have a 0 and the second binary number can have 1 as bit so when we perform addition uh, of two binary numbers we can get the input in this combination and the input that we will consider for design of our Mille machine will be pair of 0 and 1 right so if the input is in pair of 0 0 the output of adding 0 to 0 will be 0 and there won't be any carry but when the two input is in a combination of 1 1 so the addition of 1 with 1 will produce an output 0 with a carry 1 right when we have a 1 and 0 as the input the addition of these two will give you 1 as the output and a carry as 0 similarly for 0 1 input the output will be 1 but a carry will be 0 right so these are the four possibilities of getting input uh, when we consider, consider the addition of two binary numbers so when we add 18 and 29 we get the following output 0 plus 1 will give you 1 and a 0 carry 1 plus 0 will give you 1 and there is no carry 0 plus 1 will give you 1 with no carry 0 plus 1 will give you 1 with no carry 1 plus 1 will produce an output 0 but here there you will have 1 carry and 0 plus 0 will give you 0 plus the carry 1 so 1 plus 0 will give you 1 as the output and when we look at this number it is 47 in decimal so 101111 is the output of addition of binary 18 to binary 29 which is equivalent to binary 47 so for design of this Mille machine uh, we will uh, first have two states one will be the state that would be representing that there is a carry and another state uh, that is representing that there is no carry so first is a no carry state which is q0 and second is a carry state which is q1 so we have represented q0 as a no carry state and q1 as a carry state so uh, the input will be in pair pair of bits right so in q0 if the input is 00, 0 so when the input in q0 is 00, 0 there is no carry so 0 plus 0 will give you an output 0 and there won't be any carry generated right so in uh, when in q0 that is the initial state you get 00, 0 as the input we will transit to q0 only and produce an output 0 the next input can be 0, 01 so when in q0 you get a 0, 01 as input there is no carry in q0 so 0 plus 1 will produce an output 0 and as there is no carry there won't be any carry so we will transit to q0 only because q0 represents a new no carry state right the next input can be 10 so when 10 is given as input in a no carry state it would produce an output 1 and there won't be any carry so we will again stay in q0 only when the input in q0 is 10 and we will produce an output 1 in q0 the last input that can appear is 11 right so in q0 which is a no carry state if you get 11 one one as an input the output will be 0 but a carry will be generated as per our rule so as soon as in q0 we get an input as 11 one one, we will transit to a state wherein there is a carry 
and that state is represented by q1 so in q0 we will if the input is 1 1 we will transit to q1 and will produce an output 0 while transiting so now q1 represents a carry state as soon as you have transited to q1 that means there is an additional carry in this particular state that you need to add to the input right so in q1 uh, again we can have the four different input as combination of bits 0 and 1 so the first input can be 0 0 if in q1 you get 0 0 as input uh, you already have a carry so 0 plus 0 will give you output 0 plus the carry which was there existing so 0 plus 1 will give you an output 1 with a no carry so in 0 0 you will produce an output 1 but transit to a state q0 that will produce no carry right so you will transit to state q0 and produce an output 1 then in q1 you can get an input as uh, 0 1 or 1 0 so if you get the next input as 0 1 you will uh, the 0 plus 1 will give you 1 plus the carry that was there in q1 so 1 plus 1 will give you output 0 plus a carry so you will transit to q1 itself on uh, the input and produce an output 0 and you will stay in the state there, there, where there is a carry so 0 plus 1 will give you 1 plus the carry that will produce an output 0 with the carry similarly if the input is 1 0 you will again stay in q1 because 1 plus 0 will give you 1 and plus the carry will produce an output 0 with a carry so you will stay in q1 itself and produce an output 0 the last possibility of input is 1 1 so in q1 if you get 1 1 as an input so you will uh, produce an output 1 because 1 plus 1 will give you 0 with a carry and the carry plus the existing carry that will give you an output 1 so 0 plus 1 will give you an output 1 and you will stay in a carry state because carry is already generated over there right so in q1 if the input is 1 1 you will stay in q1 and produce an output 1 so now we have considered all the possibilities of input on both the state wherein there is a carry and no carry let us consider the same example for addition of 18 to 29 in binary so input will be in pair of bits for the first and second number so we will start from q0 the first input will be 0 1 so in q0 if i get a 0 1 you can see that in q0 if 0 1 is the input i will stay in q0 and produce an output 1 so in q0 if input is 0 1 it will produce an output 1 and stay in q0 in q0 the next input is 1 0 so in q0 if the next input is 1 0 it will produce an output 1 and stay in q0 itself so it will produce an output 1 and stays in q0 itself the next input in this number is 0 1 so in q0 again if the 0 1 is input it will produce an output 1 and stay in q0 itself the next input is again 0 1 so in q0 if i get 0 1 we will produce an output 1 and stay in q0 itself the next input is 1 1 so in q0 if the input is 1 1 you can see that there is a transition from q0 to q1 by producing an output 0 so in q0 if the input is 1 1 will transit to q1 and produce an output 0 right and now in q1 the next input is 0 0 so in q1 when the input is 0 0 it will produce an output 1 and transit to q0 so in q1 if the input is 0 0 will move to q0 and produce an output 1 so uh, the complete input is read and we have obtained the output we just read the uh, output from msb to lsb so the number that is generated is 101111 which is nothing but 47 equivalent uh, which is nothing but a binary equivalent of 47 in decimal uh, so this was an example on design of a milia machine there is a task for you uh, which is a class activity you need to design a mure machine to add two binary numbers and answer the questions that will be asked in the class so you need to design an equivalent mure machine for this particular machine we have seen how we design a mure machine in the previous class so we'll stop over here thank you